Welcome back, everybody, to Cooking on the Rim. Squeak indeed. My name is Quish. This is Cooking on the Rim, and uh, we're going to play some more RimWorld. How's everybody doing today? Look at all the emotes, look at little dancing dinosaurs. All sorts of things moving around, spinning digs, I think. Don't know if you can hear that, but I think somebody in my neighborhood is setting off fireworks. That is insanity. Hope everybody's having a good night. We did lose the, the wide tom clap. Uh, I, I heard something about it was taking up too much bandwidth. Um, so uh, Twitch had to ban it. Um, had nothing to do with the gyrating buttocks. But that's okay. Wide Tom's ass lives in our hearts and in our butts. Um, so we're going to play some more RimWorld. Uh, last week, we were doing some of the Anomaly um, playthrough, and the colony kind of ended... Some more fireworks. Uh, ended very abruptly at the end. Uh, we were trying to provoke the void... And instead, we summoned a bunch of unga bunga chads, some just shirtless cavemen with clubs, just knocked down our fucking walls and beat us all to death. So, uh, yeah. Shirtless pigmen. Were they pigmen? I thought that they were cavemen. They could have been pigmen. Both are very good at melee, which would explain why they kicked our ass. Um, so we're going to do another colony. We're going to do another colony. This time we are going to do the anomaly playthrough because they did uh, make an update to it. So you start with three researchers and a ghoul. So I'm interested in doing that. I've already gone through and updated uh, the mod list. This time around, I want to do like a just anomaly just to kind of see what's up with that. Like not have to worry about any of the other mods or DLCs rather. So there's no royalty, no uh, ideology, no biotech. I'll tell you what I need to do is I need to make sure. I'm not putting my lips on that. <laughs> Rumored Herald, what's up, man? Aha, name and game is paused. Let me unpause name and game. Uh, Durburger, we could do some try hard, um, but I think that I'm going to do, I, I'm going to come back to that. I am, but I am going to do some more anomaly because I'm kind of, I'm kind of high on that right now. Some of the royalty stuff goes good with ghouls though. Okay. I don't know. We'll, 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 we'll mix, we'll mix it in. We'll mix it in as we go. Um, but yeah, I kind of want to mess around with the, the new, new anomaly for today. Um, but we'll get back to trying real, real flipping hard. Don't worry. Um, so yeah, uh, name and game is open. So if you'd like to be in this colony, uh, and you want to redeem name and game, feel free to do so. Uh, we're going to go with the classic Cassandra strive to survive reload anytime streaming is difficult. Um, isolation sounds like a terrifying seed. Uh, we have our normal races right now. Okay. We could do another... Uh arid shrubland or we could do a desert desert mountain that sounds like fun that sounds like it could be fun um we've got a couple of areas to trade with over here Marble and granite are pretty solid. Um, 
One of the things that I've been thinking about with this playthrough, though, is Biopharite as a building material. I feel like uh, you could use that for a lot of stuff, so maybe we'll we'll think about that. Marble and granite, no caves. And 4060 growing period is damn near perfect. Um, looks like we've got Durburger, Chocobo, and what's up? Want to get in the game? So we will uh, we will get you in the game here in just a little bit. Let's go ahead and uh, take a look at who is going to be in this colony. Uh, we got Leon, who is an entrepreneur. Uh, good social, good medical. Okay at research. He's not a bad colonist. He's starting off addicted to Ambrosia. He's incapable of firefighting, but he's not a pyromaniac. He is uh, in the neighborhood of Ugly in the neighborhood of abrasive, so not gonna get along with people. We'll keep him on the list. Who's not an addict these days? <laughs> True. Uh, we got Lewis, who's a space marine. Um, he wants to do drugs. He is 85, he's an 85 year old space marine. This is the, the commander Dante of RimWorld. We're gonna get this guy some golden power armor and a jump pack. Uh, he is frail. Um, medical and intellectual are his jam. We've also got Flo, who is also a space marine. She's addicted to go juice. That is a bad one to be started addicted to. <laughs> same cast, the same. Um, Thunderclap Sasquatch is deemed a game. We'll get you in too. Uh, this person's good at fighting. Not much else. We're not going to keep them. Uh, Guerrera is uh, our... Uh, ghoul. Why are they incapable of doing melee? What's up with that? All right, we'll we'll come we'll come back to to our our ghoulish friend. Is that a mod cod uh, conflict? Could be. I want to say the last time I did this, uh, the same thing was going on and it didn't stop him from fighting things. But yeah, he should have uh, melee, not shooting. Allow tool can do it. Oh, really? OK, well, let's see if we can fix that real quick then. Let's see if we can fix that then. Um, because I do have a loud tool. Let's do a little little restart. See what happens. Loud tool ghoul fix is a workaround. Okay, I'll look out for that. I'll uh maybe I'll install that before the next time we play, but. Let's take, you know, just, you know, we're just uh, take, taking some time here. Taking some time. I'd like to know what my neighbor was celebrating. It's some whistly fireworks going on in the background. I don't know if my microphone picked that up or not. Did you guys hear that? <laughs> yeah, 40% of RimWorld is actually uh, trying to get the mods to work, um, which is kind of a game. It's like a mini game in its own way. All right. Uh, anomaly. Strive to survive. Reload anytime. Uh, Barracuda. That sounds like a good one. Ooh. Uh, well. Our options for desert base are kind of limited. Yeah, cold desert. Let's uh try a different seed. Crank town. That sounds like a good one. That's probably a little bit better. Yeah, 
Yeah, there's some extreme desert here. Uh, we do have a nice road. Do have a nice looking little road. Marble and sandstone could be fine. Mountainous desert. Marble and sandstone. Easy access to a road. Of course, there's this up here. Granite and marble. Decent distance from a couple of trading posts. How far did I get into the DLC last time? Uh, we played for almost two days. Um, so we got maybe like a like a like a year in, maybe. I'm pretty close to a year. Um, we did not get super far into the DLC itself, though. All right, let's try this again. We got Yates, who's an inventor. He's incapable of violence. He is a nudist. I don't think so. Uh, Nate is a taxonomist uh, who was incapable of violence. Um, he is psychically dull, which is probably not good for the whole void thing. We got Az, who is a jealous pyromaniac who is good at intellectual and not much else. Uh, McDaniel, okay. Yeah, now melee is, is working. Let's... Uh, yeah, okay, now melee is working, so it was the allow tool mod. So we'll come back to our ghoul. What's up, Zenith? How you doing? Uh, starting a new colony, because the last one kind of crashed. Uh, we've got Kai, who is a violent... Uh, who is capable of violence and intellectual. Akio is a story writer that's too smart. And a double passion and intellectual. He's 19, no health conditions. He's got a schematic. This guy's pretty solid. Uh, Zenith is requesting for someplace more temperate. Uh, well, uh, it was suggested that we do uh, a mountain desert. Um, so that's what we're going to go through with this one, but we might do a more temperate climate next time. Accio is pretty solid. We're going to hold on to him. Um, an evangelist who is addicted to wake up and ambrosia. Then Babby. And most of these colonists uh, kind of suck ass. <laughs> most of these colonists just suck ass. Okay. Um, so let's do a little bit of randomizing. Why are all these colonists so shitty? Okay, we got Boxer, who's a geologist, uh, mining, cooking plants. It's pretty solid. It's got a prosthetic leg. Undergrounder, great memory. I kind of wish he had uh, more of a construction lean, but he could be working on mining and plants. He could also be our cook. Instead of doing a, uh, a nutrient paste colony, we might actually have somebody who can do some real cooking. So that's not bad. Uh, we do need somebody who can do construction, though. Undergrounder, nudist, psychically hypersensitive is apparently very funny uh, with the anomaly playthrough, but not great stats. 
We'll, uh... Okay. Ivan, the cave explorer. He's got a hot top haircut. Psychically dull, hygienic, bloodlust. Um, mining, construction, and then fighting. That's not bad. That's not bad. You know, we want to get our construction up to like an eight, because that's where a lot of the more important stuff is. But just having two guys with kick-ass mining skills in a mountain base is pretty good. This guy will be inside. Do we have anybody for social? I guess Boxer is the closest we have to a social guy. And nobody really with medical. So I guess Boxer will be doing our social until we find somebody better. Uh, and Accio is unfortunately our best doctor at the moment. Okay, let's get ourselves a nice looking ghoul. Uh, let's see. Brawler with a melee of nine. I'm into it. All right, this is going to be our colony. Yeah, usually if you end up with the bloodlust trait, um, I don't know why, like for whatever reason, you just frequently have really good fighting stats too. Ooh, it's an interesting start. The uh, monolith is right here in the center of the map, and this is actually a pretty good spot. We've got two geothermal vents. Um, we've got lots of ways into the base that we could close off so we can actually use a lot of the mountain to to protect ourselves could probably just do like wall 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 and then have like a pretty easy way into the base I feel like this is a base where we're definitely going to be digging into the mountain. This isn't too bad. This isn't bad. I'm going to go with this. All right. So let's go ahead and start by allowing all. And then let's tell Ivan to grab the shotgun. Uh, Accio can have the knife. Actually, Boxer can have the knife. Accio can have the Molotov cocktails. All right, and let's... Go ahead and save our game. Let's see, we're also starting with... Oh, you start with no pets in this playthrough, that's right. Twisted meat. Um, okay. Let us... Go ahead and break out the wheel of names. And let's go back through the chat log here and see who wanted to get into the game. I know it was Derberger. It's not currently on the list. Actually, you know what we're going to do?
go. Sherburger, Chickabo, 9X. Waz up. 1985. And I believe it was Thunderclap Sasquatch. Thunderclap Sam Squanch. All right, let's save it up. Let's see uh, who is going to be Accio Frost. Let's see who our, uh, our researcher is going to be. Pistol 6699. Welcome back to the colony. I've been trying to get this thing set up to where if you roll somebody, their name automatically comes off the list. And no matter what I do, I can't get it to uh, do the thing through through OBS. But you know, what do you what do you, what do you expect? You know, <laughs> I'm not a I'm not a, a wheel spinning scientist pretzel bomber would also like to be in the game i caught that a little late let me uh get your name on here as well my dude pretzel bomber is on the list okay uh boxer neil boxer madougal it's gonna be our plants guy and then bat and cook as well as backup miner The Blue Gentleman. The Blue Gentleman. Welcome back to the colony. We do not have a muffalo this time. And being as how this is a desert, he would probably not like to live here. All right, Ivan. Ivan is kind of a psychopath. Uh, it's got a very interesting selection of traits. He's very hygienic, but he has a bloodlust and he doesn't care for the void and he likes to murder everything. Um, this seems like an ideal colonist, honestly. SRW addict is still on the list. Are you? Oh, man. <laughs> It'd be funny if he called it, if it was like a, like a Babe Ruth situation. Hey, Zenith is in chat. Zenith, welcome to the colony. And... Last but not least... We have our uh, good friend, Arsney, uh, who has a slight case of the zombification. Let's go ahead and find out who that's going to be. <laughs> yes, you spoke it into existence. And now it has happened. SRW Addict, welcome to Ghoulification. Love it. Uh, let's see. Yeah, you were at the top of the list. All right. Well, the wheel has done its job. Let's send the wheel back to the void. All right, where are we building this colony? Uh, fun fact, we do not have a lot of 
uh, soil to work with. So let's do a growing zone. make use of all of this soil and we'll start with rice and then let's go ahead and create a growing zone over here as well this is going to be heel root and then Make this cotton. All right, and then we're going to make a stockpile zone here ish. Allow all. Let us set our priorities. Not much of an animal handler. Uh, this guy's going to focus on plants for now. Uh, he'll do some crafting as well. Oh, because I disabled, uh, allow tool. That means I lost, uh, haul urgently, didn't I? Yep, that's how that works. That's okay. Yeah, everyone appears to be and then because pistol will definitely be mad at me if I don't allow self-tend on everybody you will never do doctoring he is a ghoul all right colony get to it do the ghouls eat uh you better believe these ghouls eat uh they they only eat meat and if they if we don't feed them enough meat they will go feral and try to kill us Oh, yeah, you know, just uh, just some human corpses here. Just uh, just a minor case of the the human corpses. We're just going to put these over here for now. And then uh, for uh, simplicity, let's uh, put rotting animal carcasses, car carcasses. That's, that's what I tried to say there. Uh, not fresh. There we go.
All right. Did not take long for us to get plants in the ground, which is good. Everyone's just going to be sleeping outside tonight. So let's go ahead and plot out the inside base. I think this is going to be the first time in a long time we've done an actual factual inside base, which I'm pretty excited about. All right. Need to plot this out for a second because my brain is really bad at math. Open wall, open wall, open wall. So I actually need to cancel. Something like that. Yeah, something like that's probably fine to get started with. What we can do at night is uh, we can... Ooh, there's ostriches. can have a SRW addict here. Just go out and start punching the wildlife. Nom nom noms. All right, you can go back to just doing whatever you want, man. Oh man, there's compacted steel right here. Okay. In that case, I know that this is a rough use of an early torch or, or early wood is to build a torch that does help you mine a lot faster. Zenith is getting into the spirit of things. Sorry, that was probably very disgusting. I just burped right into the microphone. Perfect. Okay. Uh, and then now we'll go ahead and find that out. Then build a steel door here, and then you beds. They're just gonna sleep on the ground since it is nighttime. Nom, nom, 
Um, and unfortunately, we kind of have to do that for a while until we have a regular source of meat, like animals or something. Hey, it's the courtesy flush coming in with a raiding party. What's up, friends? All right. Now let's go ahead and set up a steel research bench right there. Reinstall the torch. What's up, Blackfire? All right, research. Uh, for now, because we are going to have to start growing stuff inside, let's do hydroponics. Twisted meat has rotted, as it does. Uh, we also start with um, wind turbines. Just pretty nifty. And the battery. Get visitors. Normally, I would do like wood fire generating um, and then we would go into like, I don't know, poop factory. But in this particular situation, um, because we've got the desert, so we don't have a lot of wood to work with and I disabled um, those bad hygiene, I think. Did I? I don't remember if I did. No, I do have does bad hygiene, which means I need to make a bathroom. Oh no. Uh steel. You know what? For right now, let's just put the bathroom outside. And we'll put a steel latrine and a water tub. We'll just put it right there, right outside. All right. Uh, there is not a lot of easy wildlife for this guy to fight. So we're going to go fight this ostrich. Get him. Ostrich revenge. There's a there's a letter Kenny joke here that I'm not gonna make, but just to just to let you know it does exist. All right. A wave of dread passes over your colonists. The fallen, fallen monolith has begun to stir slowly. It begins to twist and rearrange itself, morphing into something new. Yeah, okay. Uh, pistol. A research guy. We're going to have him investigate the monolith, of course. All right. There it is. Spooky music is coming.
Did it eat pistol? Nah, nah, he's, he's all right. He's alive. He's gonna get back to researching normal stuff. Um, we do have an ostrich here. Let's go ahead and create a butcher spot. Unfortunately, that's not gonna that's not gonna last very long. But we'll have SRW addict eat it. All right, uh, Shambler's approach. Okay, that's uh. They're, they're they're doing their thing okay all right um let's go ahead and start digging more into this mountain Let's build this direction for food. So our dining hall will be here. It's been a while since I've actually uh, done a real kitchen. I do have a process for kitchenifying things. Something like that. This will make more sense once we actually get it dug out. Harbinger trees. Harbinger trees. Okay, for now we can build a wall lamp and we'll put our conduit.
something like there for now. Colonies always start with the stove and the research bench in the same room. I usually do a fireplace or like a campfire in uh in the my starter room. I see what you're doing, Prince Obama. You're playing Cupid. The power chat compels you. Hey, Ziggy Fool just gifted five tier one subs. Thanks, man. We really appreciate that. Everybody uh, give Ziggy Fool some props for being a cool guy. Goes well, Ziggy. Goes well. Or, you know, just uh, dealing with some Eldritch Horror. Aha! Speaking of which, it's time to name the colony. And I think I figured out what went wrong with the last colony, is that we, we strayed away from our traditional naming scheme. Um, because we didn't name the colony after a failed business. Um, and I'm trying to remember some businesses that uh, are no longer with us. Hmm... Funko Land. Ooh, Funko Land's a good one. It's definitely a good name for a uh Ooh, Twitter is a really good one. <laughs> uh Twitter's a really good one. Uh no, Funko Land works. That'll be the name of the colony. And then uh the not non-aligned coalition of Stindaren. Okay, good enough. So the center here, we're going to want to cancel... that this is where we're going to put hydroponics eventually emus have migrated Okay. Uh, you know, he, he could probably eat. Tell him to consume some of this delicious bird meat. Oh no. Fight this guy. Uh, you know what? Let's, uh, let's leave Pistol out of this fight for now. SRW looks like he's probably going to have it handled. Okay. And then we can install this bad boy, uh, you know, right here in the bedroom. that guy for us yeah yeah 
There we go. Yeah, that thing's gonna die. Um, who is Am Doctor again? It is pistol. Lord Grimos brought tiramisu. Oh man, you're you're an absolute legend. Absolute legend. And go back to eating this bird meat. There you go. Bird meat consumed. That's yeah, probably not gonna not gonna affect these guys in, in any way, shape, or fashion. Being just sleeping next to a scary sight stealing monster, huh? Want some components? Yeah, nice. Let's get him on uh, focusing on research and studying. Oh, little, little man's getting hungry again. Not a uh, not too many animals for us to feast on. Ah, uh, just in time. Just in time. Almost like the game knew that we were gonna, we were gonna need it. Oh, you know what? There was a uh, like a, a special recurbo, wasn't it? Let's do that instead of these Molotov cocktails. Nice shot, my dude. Let's see how good this guy is. Um, he is okay at medical, and we do need a doctor. He's also good at animals, and we do need an animals person eventually. But I hate to say it. Yep, just... Uh Yep, just uh, just taking care of some business over here. We actually need to make. He's real pissed off. He really wants to eat us. He thinks he's people. All right. You know what? Uh, just go ahead and continue eating that guy, all right? Yeah, there we go. There you go. Just eat his head.
And let's uh, get this reinstalled into here for now. Perfect. All right. So now we get to build. And a steel butcher's table. Then. Something like that. Then steel shelves. There we go. Just in time for rice to get grown. You know, I want to say I, I saw some tables out here. Yeah, I don't really like that. We're gonna, uh... Uh, we want... By twos. And we'll put some... Dining chairs in. stockpile zone here We are going to need to mine up some more steel here before too long. Especially if we're going to start making hydroponics. There's a couple good spots down here. I think there's some gold as well. Caravan. Okay. Catching up on chat here. What's up, M Tom? Hydroponics has been researched. Uh, let's go ahead and get solar panels as well. Actually, no. Well, yeah, it's fine. Anomaly, uh, we want entity containment. 
and then uh, and stop working on that for right now. Uh, I'm doing good. Tired. Hot. Missing air conditioning. So what we'll do is we'll try to build a uh, bioelectric harvester. So we'll actually harvest the, the monsters for electricity that we'll use to grow food. So instead of feeding our colony with feces, we'll be feeding our colony with Eldritch Horrors. All right, we now have fans which provide light. Let us. All right, so we're going to link these two. Clear all. We are only going to put meat in these fridges. Then this fridge. You're only going to put meals. All right. So you've, if you've never seen this, this workflow, the idea is that we'll be growing food in this big room right here. Uh, we'll transport it into this shelf here. This uh, person is going to be cooking. Animals are going to get dumped on the floor here and then small animals on the shelf here. They'll get butchered and then they'll get put up into this cooler right here. So the chef can grab a... Uh, uh, rice and whatnot, they can grab meat, they can cook, and then they'll put the meals right here. So you get this really, uh, really short movement space where, like, you don't really have to go very far to get anything done. And then the meals are right here, kitchen is right here, people will come in, grab a meal, go to the table and eat it. Bingo bango, Bob's your uncle. What's your creature do forever? it down do until you have let's say 100 is probably fine Yeah, this is a this is this is a process that I've been working on for a long time and I think this is like uh like once you've got this going like you never worry about food again. The trick is getting it going. Um we're going to put another ceiling fan in here and here. So that'll keep the uh, kitchen cool. The ghoul is starving. Good call. Good call. Wildlife. What do we got? We got camels. Camels are kind of dangerous. So that's what I don't like about this scenario is that it really is a pain in the ass to constantly be like micromanaging these ghouls. All right. Uh, so now we're going to go ahead and deconstruct that. Build a sun lamp in its place.
right, and then we'll disconnect this for now. And for now, I think four hydroponics is going to be enough to keep us fed. No, don't botch constructions. We've yet to have to make any stone blocks. We will need that eventually. Yeah, we will need a win uh, more than a windmill to power that. Uh, fortunately... We got this little guy here, going to be powering it for us. Probably should have been working on this a lot sooner, though. Uh, you know, pretzel, I'm, I'm fairly, okay. Now I don't want to make conjecture, but I'm fairly certain what they do is they just hook up a pair of like jumper cables to this thing's nipples and it just shakes violently. And that causes electricity to happen. You hungry, buddy? Yeah, you're hungry. Uh, yep, 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 yep. Uh, correct, uh, SRW, that is what happens. Uh, if you lose power, then, um, you've got a little bit of time before the hydroponics will crash out on you. Okay. Um Yeah, maybe I maybe I needed to start researching sooner. Cuz we also need to research the electricity harvester. So yeah, maybe we maybe we do need to uh research um we'll do solar panels. The lone figure is approaching the colony. She wants to talk. You could send a colonist to hear what she has to say. That doesn't sound ominous at all. Yeah, we'll send uh we'll send the blue gentleman out. He's a social guy. This person's uh Person's got the ick for sure. Mm. 
I mean, yeah. What's the what's the what's the worst that could happen? What is the worst that could happen? Odette, welcome to the colony. Yeah, the, the wor worst case scenario is that, uh, there we go. We'll turn this all off for now. What is that windmill producing? It is producing electricity, which is going to this battery, which is powering the base. We might get through this faster than I thought we will. Yeah, they don't go up very, very far. Uh, they, they output, uh, yeah, they, they, I mean, when the wind is blowing, it'll, it'll output, but. If you don't have another source of electricity, typically the best way to power an indoor base like this is with uh, solar panels. Because um, when the sun is out, it's generating electricity and that's when you need it because the uh, light only works during the day. But. We are going to try to harvest our electricity from creatures from beyond time and space. Oh, uh, yeah, I guess we don't have enough beds, do we? There you go. Now we can start thinking about bedrooms. That's right. We're going full Deem Guy. Transport pod carrying a ravenous hostile ghoul has landed nearby. Okay. Well, we will, uh, we will capture it. Um, don't know where we're going to put it yet. I guess we could put it over here for now. Uh, so holding spots don't cost anything. Uh, Zenith, if you could. <laughs> Aether, what's up, man? Appreciate the 69 bits, as the always. Chat compels you. Ooh, Anonymous has gifted somebody with a tier one sub. Well, thank you, Anonymous. Appreciate you, uh, 
The power sporting, chat compels you. Sporting uh, WBPL 76. All right. So, you know, this guy, he's, uh, he's in the neighborhood of crazy. We are going to need to build uh, Ghoul is starving. Like on the upside, we're definitely training melee, which is nice. Get him, buddy. There you go. Happy belly, full of bird meat. Uh, random fish over yonder has redeemed water break, posture check, and stretch, and eye break. Well, I'll tell you what. Let me do. Let me do all of these things. First off, uh, I apologize. I don't have water today. I have ginger ale, so I'm gonna drink some of that. Thank you. And let's do a little posture and stretch. And of course, I break. Now, in order for me to avert my eyes from this game and not make things boring, that means we're going to cut to a commercial. So uh, we're going to hear a quick word from our sponsor while uh, take a little bit of an eye break. But we'll be, we'll be right back with some more Rim World. Tonight's sponsor is Rain Shadow Legends. Rain Shadow Legends is a tactical fantasy RPG action strategy game with over 7 billion downloads worldwide! In Rain Shadow Legends, you have access to over millions of fun and unique characters such as... Orc. Um... Bugbear. Gun. Or Elf. She's very pretty. Look how pretty she is. If you like now, you can download our WBPL 76 exclusive character, the Skeleton King. He broke your hands. You can use special promo code LIGMA to receive 42,069 rupees. You can spend them on cool cosmetic items such as skins. Unlock the gun that your character wears. Different outfits, not like a big pile of skin that would be gross. And also, flaming swords. It's on fire. Find out what over 7 billion totally real people who have downloaded this game are talking about it. Download the app today. Now back to the stream. Well, welcome back. Hope everybody uh, got a chance to use the bathroom real quick. Zenith is uh, having a little bit of a break. <laughs> uh, well, thank you. Thank you, Blackfire. Callie's Guide to Or- Oh no! Oh no! I forgot to build a wall. Jesus. Uh, okay. Steel wall.
Uh, we out of steel. What's going on? Oh, uh, Zenith is, of course, our guy who does construction. So, uh, you know what? Uh, Pistol and Odette. No, uh, yeah, there we go. And geothermal, sure. The Treaty of Rona. I've decided that they want to try one. We have a kind nudist who's incapable of dumb labor. Sounds like people burgers. All right, no longer deteriorating. Pistol is having a tantrum because there is a monster in his bed. Okay, well, to be fair, that is on us. Um, however, uh, that was 30 components. That was a lot of components. All right. Oh, Jesus. Odette has a fucking, like, charge rifle. Okay. thought I'd left him on uh draft but no he's just just yeah you know, just standing there just staring then. That is a possibility, Castus. That is a possibility. All right. Well, you know what? We have beds. Uh, let's uh, reinstall bedrooms. Go. Hmm, excuse me again. The ginger ale sneaking up on me. Uh, up, up, up. Well, well, uh out these fires please there we go there we go no big deal yeah we are out of components now aren't we um let's see if we've got any on the uh, map somewhere we can mount up Thirty fucking components, Jesus. 
Um, man, this would have been a nice place to start too, wouldn't it? There we go, that should get us started. All right, Ghoul is reasonably fed. Looks like he continued to eat the body, which is over here. Oh, uh, that's right. We made solar panels. Visitor. Let's see what they've got. Uh, they've got medicine, but we've got plenty. They've got components, but we don't have any money. Uh, yeah, don't really have anything to trade them right now, so. These generate about 1700 during the day. So two should be enough. Now, did I mess that up? I thought that if you put solar panel panels in front of a wind turbine, that they don't block wind. Yeah, it's starting to spin again. Okay. So that means we can... Do a Mad Emu. Oh, no! How dare you. are closer. How bad is he? Death in four hours? Okay. We need to do a emergency triage. Without medicine.
Can he stop the bleeding? Zenith, you might survive. You might survive. You did it, buddy. You did it. Oh, man. Oh, no, he has an infection. Oh, no, now, now we, now we definitely need. Definitely need medicine. Uh, okay. Not out of the woods yet. It's possible we may have to take your leg. It is possible. Uh, oh, and Zenith's grandson is here. Yeah, nothing we really want to buy and nothing that we could really part with. let all their fucking muffalo into our kitchen. Cool. Thanks, guys. All right. Uh, well, that uh, did not go well. Um, did not go well at all. Currently, the immunity is above the infection, but not by much. So we just need to make sure we stay on it. Uh, in the meantime, in the meantime, <laughs> hey, what's up, Diggs? Uh, Zenith is no, 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 my guy, my guy, my guy. You don't need to be. You don't need to be working right now. You need to. Rest until healed. Yeah, there you go. Just going off on a strange ass wander. Uh, he is urgently hungry. Apparently he has eaten all of the raider that we found. Ooh. 
It's one of these things. Allow that. That's how you make more ghouls. Um, ooh, hey, a bunch of boomalopes. Those are probably uh, bad for the ghoul to fight. Yeah, there's not much on the not much on the map now. Ostrich revenge, huh? putting my lips on that. Uh, what would Cookie say here? Tonight's movie night is a double feature. Uh, okay. Okay, movies. Cool. Thank you, Cookie. I appreciate it. Electro Harvester has been researched. Heck yeah. He has an extreme infection. Looks like he's going to pull through. Yeah. Okay. He's working on it. He's working on it. No big deal. Debt's having some dark visions. She uh, observed a rotting corpse. It doesn't seem like the kind of thing that should bother her, but whatever. Right. friend here is doing hey, he's he's a little hungry he's not eating boomalope though this is an interesting spot over here too like it looks like a head like it, it definitely looks like a cartoon character Actually, you know what? It looks like uh, the dude from Star Trek Lower Decks, the guy with the purple hair. Just me? Okay. The green uranium or emeralds. It is jade, in fact. It does kind of look like Johnny Bravo. I could see that too. Like skinnier neck, but yeah, like this is his body. Okay, now we do need to actually make some, uh, stone blocks.
We are running out of steel. I was kind of hoping we'd find some steel back here somewhere. Ah, just in time. Just in time. Look at that. Oh, we no longer have enough wood. Okay. All right, add bill, make any stone blocks, do forever, drop on floor, shrink on down. And then we're going to take pistol off of research for a little while and put him on crafting. Ghoul is starving. There are only boomalopes to eat. Only boomalopes. Don't have any meat in storage, do we? Nah, looks like we've turned it all into meals. We won't need a meal, will we? Not. Must be raw and wriggling. All right. Well, this will solve the problem one way or another. Oh no, oh no. Oh no, they're, they're all attacking. Oh no. <laughs> oh no, and now they're coming after us. Oh god, oh god, oh god. This is bad. This is this is this is terrible bad. Get your shotgun. Oh no. Oh no. We have fucked up real bad. Not too bad, not too shabby. Um, okay, so uh, SR SRW Addict uh, is is uh, deceased. However, as I understand it, there is a way to rebuild him. So he's not out of the woods yet. Not out of the woods yet. Um, we're going to make... Uh, we're running low on everything, aren't we? We're going to make him a sarcophagus. Put it right here. And then, uh, blue, if you could extinguish that fire... before it actually destroys the corpse. Okay. Good enough. All 
All right. Uh, assigned colonist. Can we not? Is it because... Uh, yeah, no, thank you. Sorry, dude. We cannot assign him for some reason. All right. Well, apparently we cannot uh bury him. What about a what about a grave? Can we uh can we bury him in a grave? We cannot. Okay. Uh, well. Maybe we can refrigerate him. Uh, he might be going a little bit to Zorg. Well, you know, we are getting close to uh, the end of the stream here. Um, time actually kind of flew on me there. Well, it's kind of a sad ending because uh, I'd like to be able to to bring you back. Um, but I don't know how. So I'll do a little bit of research. Maybe I can figure out how to how to bury you. We'll store you for, for later purposes. But uh, until then, this has been Cooking on the Room. My name is Quish. I stream RimWorld every Monday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And we'll be back again next Monday for some more Cooking on the Rim. Coming up next is Pandora Pirate Radio. Uh, stick around for them. They're going to be streaming something cool. Probably involves robots. Um, till then, till next time, we're going to go ahead and leave you with another word from our sponsor. You guys have a, have a great day. Hey there, folks. It's me, Tom Tombadil, owner and proprietor of Wide Tom's Bean House. We regrettably had to close our doors as the Department of Health deemed our air quality suboptimal. Too much methane, apparently. I am now proud to announce that Wide Tom's Bean House is not only back but better than ever. Our new location is chock full of windows and cattle grade air purification. The burger bar is bigger and badder than before with new toppings and an array of meat as well as other a la carte items served throughout. So come on down to our new, legally safer facility to have a belly bustin' good time. And don't forget to stop by the gift shop to pick up some new Wide Tom's Beanhouse memorabilia.